So um, I'm doing a talk on CTFR. If you guys don't know what that is, it's uh, I'm abusing uh, certificate transparency logs. Um, I heard about this in another talk, um, and but I, I took it a little bit further. So basically, you put a like what I would if you want to do this manually, you can say you could find there's usually APIs out there that I'll show you a bunch of stuff, and you can pull out, if you look at DNS names, you can actually pull out the subdomains there, right? And then you could say, copy and paste one of these things, and then get an IP address out of it, and then um, put it through a Shodan query, and, you know, type in, you know, and actually find certain, you know, vulnerabilities sometimes, or nothing. <laughs> but yeah. Um, but what I did, I actually made a script um, that does all this. So um, let's say we want to do, um, check that out. So I run the script. So basically, it's pulling out all the subdomains from the API. And then it's resolving each uh, subdomain to an IP address, and then um, it's putting it through a Shodan query, right? And the Shodan query will actually list um, all the vulnerabilities and stuff like that, uh, open ports and every sort of sort of OSINT stuff that you want to look at, right? So, oops. <laughs> Check this out. List the CDVEs. Puts it right up there, and then I could just do. I haven't made a parser for this yet, but I will put a. I'll make one eventually. And then sometimes it'll actually lead to exploit DB, so that'll be my next step in this thing. And then, um, you know, then have it actually link to Metas like through the Metasploit API, and have code ready, um, I guess, for your engagements. So. So other than, other than the DNS queries, which people don't track anyway, you're yeah. not actually touching no, that not at all. remote at all? Right? Nope. Yeah. So it is passive reconnaissance. Yeah. Yep. But you, you guys want to try it out? I mean, I could actually just type in any domain. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So here, I'll just run it again. I'll delete everything in here real quick. It's open somewhere. Oh, that's right. Whoops. You guys have your own personal domains you want to put in here? <laughs> NUSC is local. We'll do that. Yeah? What's the website? MUSCHealth.org. MUSC Health? Holy sh I mean, sorry. <laughs> it's going to be a little bit, but it actually creates as it goes, you know, so. Okay. No, no CVEs there, but I mean, it'll give you, it'll still give you um, all the other information you would want. So yeah, I'm not touching the um, not even touching their website, essentially. So well, I mean, nobody nobody keeps track. Nobody keeps logs of DNS queries against the yeah. Well, most people don't. Yeah, but it won't touch it. <laughs> and I mean, it'd be too much data anyway for. But yeah. Somewhere as big as in the USC. Let's see. Let's see how much we got here. I gotta make something to, that flags it saying, oh, CVE listed here. And then, um, but yeah. yeah. It's quicker than doing it by hand. Yeah. Yeah, I, I couldn't imagine doing this by hand. But yeah, I, I showed this off uh, to a friend. Um, 
He's like, yeah, put my stuff in there. Put my put my uh, blog on there. And it just like just had a huge list of just CVEs everywhere. I was like, I was like, whoa, dude, <laughs> you might want to fix this. <laughs> But yeah, you could. I showed this. I showed this off to some pen testers, and they got real excited. And we just played with this all day. Say what? Python is just so much fun. Yeah, yeah. I I do this all in Python, so like, yeah. Um, I just use Adam because of the colors. Like, don't make fun of me, please. And requests as well is is just. Yeah. So I just do. Yeah, I just so what I do is um, I I just do a GET request onto that API to grab all the, the DNS name the DNS names right, and then I just parse all that out, put that into a big list, and then I just loop through it um, and then resolve each subdomain to an IP address, and then um, and then I just you know put put that all into the, each IP address into the Shodan query, and then Profit, right? <laughs> right? Yeah. Just on GitHub already? I haven't put it up on GitHub. There's, if you Google CTFR GitHub, um, you, you can actually get the um, um, the original one, but I just added to it. But I, I can put my stuff on GitHub in a little bit. I literally was writing it sitting next to you, so. <laughs> While we're doing the FBI thing, yeah. But yeah, this this will go on forever sometimes, and you'll be surprised at what you can find. Um, the other thing I do with it, um, I use a Google dorking techniques with it. So you can follow the subdomains with it. So you could say subdomain site uh, GitHub, right? And then uh, you could find people's code that ties to it. And sometimes it's like, uh, if it says dev in it, it's, it's really something you want to look at. Because sometimes it has credentials. So. Really, really cool OSINT, scripted OSINT, essentially. So, but yeah, I've, I've been doing this for, for like, I'm, I'm actually pretty new to cybersecurity. Um, I just, my friend told me about something and then I was like, oh, this is kind of cool. So, I've been, I guess, doing cybersecurity professionally since April. So, but I'm not super expert in Python. So, if you look at my code, you know, don't make fun of me, you know? <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, I saw this picture. It's like and he's like, I'm so good at you know, I'm so I'm such a good programmer. And then you see a book next to him, and it's Python. <laughs> like, I'm like, yeah, this is actually really easy. But yeah, you get so. Oh, actually, this might be kind of cool. Yeah. Yeah. When you, whenever I see Dev in it, it's just like it. It could be something, you know. So. So what I would do, I have another. Uh, so I have another script that I kind of use with it. Let's see if it'll actually work. So I'll do my other one real quick to show you the Google dorking part. Um, it has to be a really good um, company to do it to to search with, because like um, if you do like something with so few subdomains, right? You have to have a huge list of subdomains because. I mean, sometimes get, Google won't find it, but the more subdomains you get, the more information you get through the Google dorking method. So, um, I, yeah, it's, it's just a really, really, um, I think it's a really good um, strategy. But yeah, anyone wanna try another one out? We'll clear, I'll, I'll just clear it out if you wanna tell me another website. Do one more. What if you did like a retailer? Which one? Like, uh, Gap. Gap? <laughs> do you know? <laughs> okay, okay, hold on one sec. Let me delete what I got in there real quick so we don't have to like filter it out. Um, target. Oh. Why is this not working? Do I have a, what? Okay, cool. 
Oh, it's the end of the CCFR thing. All right. Uh, yeah, give me a give me a domain. We'll do, I'm gonna do one more. <laughs> you want you want a retailer? Gap.com. I'm afraid what's going to show up, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, gifts. Okay. Yeah, I think that's them. Oh, starting in Australia and Belgium. Okay. <laughs> cool. Um, let's see what's popping up over here. Yeah, I need a I need a flag to just like tell me when there's a uh, CVE. But yeah, it's it's just gonna populate through all these things. But you guys that missed it, um, I made a parser to for OSINT. I'll, I'll put it up on GitHub and you guys can play with it at home. So, but yeah. Yeah, it's gonna keep going. <laughs> But well, yeah, my next my next step is going to be putting it, like, automating it through Metasploit, and then, I mean, I'm not going to execute it because that would be kind of illegal, <laughs> unless I had permission, of course. So, but definitely just just to line me up, right? So I take uh, yeah, it's Corsi's here. Yeah, I'm about to finish up Corsi. So basically, I take um, a list of subdomains uh, from from a CTFR query, um, basically. Uh, and then resolve those IPs, and then then loop through them into a Shodan API, and then that list that list like all the ports and stuff, and and then CVEs is what I'm looking for because there's another API that shows um, that shows the um, actual actual vulnerabilities. So if I do this one, because I know this one has one. Real quick, let me just delete everything real quick. Oh, actually, never mind. Start that over. I'm almost done, of course. All right, here we go. Awkward silence, right? I think it's this one. Here we go. Sweet. So it's actually looping the uh, the CVEs listed in Shodan to uh, to parse them out. So, yeah. Is this just based on like server version that you're able to detect? Um, no, it's 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 based on the IP. Oh, okay. Yeah. So that could lead you to the next steps. Thank you, guys. <laughs> I'll put the I'll put the thing on GitHub. Um, just uh, catch me offline. <laughs>